What's up guys? This is the Broken Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana and this will probably be the final episode because we're going to draw in all the Ottoman troops in the area. Uh, well, obviously there are some outside of the screen, but we're going to draw them all into battle and we have plenty of troops around to destroy them all. So this will be the final episode of the Louisiana campaign. So let's kick this off. We are going to intercept this small force that's advanced towards us because it also gives us a fantastic opportunity to draw in this army and hopefully push them all south of the Danube. So let's begin. We have Claude Perrin Fassé, his force up front, a relatively experienced infantry force with not great foot artillery, but he's got a bucket load of troops at his back if anything goes wrong. But it shall not. The enemy force is depleted, mostly as he's got a massive block of cavalry, um, but the actual infantry force is depleted and weak. So let's take them on. This will be a first of a series of battles, and this may or may not extend past an hour. Um, if it does, that's completely okay, because this will... <laughs> you know, if it goes on longer than an hour, it will probably be not... Uh, it will probably not be suitable to be broken up into two parts. I'd rather have one large part to end the campaign rather than you know, two weak parts. But let's crack on. So this is going to be the first of probably about maybe four, maybe four, because I'm going to attack the Ottomans everywhere in the Istanbul region. Those two that are in um, Kiev, they are probably going to be ignored, but we are just going to attack them with our troops here and destroy their capital city and take the final region in the known world into Louisiana in custody. And this is a, hmm, it's taking a bit too long to load up. Okie dokie, so. Let's get all my how, uh, field artillery up on this higher ground. My, God, I'm a bit, <laughs> I'm going to be a bit terrible, it's a bit terrible because I haven't played Empire for two weeks. So let's. The irony is, actually, you guys are going to be watching this on the the 2nd of January at 8 o'clock GMT, 8pm GMT, and I am actually recording this at 9 minutes past 9, so 9am GMT on the 2nd. So, <laughs> expect me to not be quite as good as I normally am. As is tradition, I've decided to keep well, I decided to not record the video I need to upload the day I return, and I'm recording it right now. So we have an infantry ring on the left, an infantry ring on the right. We have some infantry in the centre, but we're mostly going to be responding to wherever the enemy is going to deploy from. It should they should be the reinforcement should be coming in from behind the enemy in the distance. So they're coming in. push up our infantry line I hear cavalry charges but that's okay I'm okay with dumping everyone into square the actual army that's coming in at the minute isn't the actual well the cavalry they've got yeah exactly <laughs> oh god they're gonna form their gun line that's the general's bodyguard that's gonna Oh. 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 <laughs> Good effort. <laughs> Keep on pushing. Okay, you're in you're not in the best of spots, but you're gonna open up on the Bashi Bazooks, which is good. Push that whole line up. Skirmishes are running. Lancers are in position. Retarget the howitzers. It's another general's bodyguard unit. My field artillery, or my horse artillery, I should say. Actually, get them to attack the enemy cavalry in the rear. Oh, that's a fantastic quicklime shot there. That was utterly devastating, and that will break 
all of these units. Yeah, the right wing has collapsed. Advance and take the position. So that leaves you guys at a bit of a loose end. Whoa. They're falling onto our left wing hard. This regiment of infantry may not survive. I'm starting to get the distinct impression that I'm not actually that bothered, especially when I can bring these two infantry units around like so. Yeah, there we go. They've routed. We have infantry to burn. Pahi. Just attack the Janissaries in the distance. As long as they stay in square. To be honest, I'm not entirely bothered about my... About making sure all the... The infantry... Well, I don't need to make my infantry survive this action. Which I know sounds incredibly... Silly. But it's chiefly because, look. This whole block of cavalry, there's only so much distance they can cover before they just bump into a square that they can't actually penetrate. I don't even need to charge my lances up. Let's get my infantry up the hill. Save my sharpshooters. Yeah, these Sipahi can't decide who they're going to go for. Royal Mameluke Guard. Broken infantry unit, but they'll probably come back. This unit of Sipahi. I'm okay with letting my infantry... Uh, I'm okay with letting my infantry route, because like I said, I've got so many... Um, so many units in the area. Actually, I might attack... Attack ground slightly long there. Start to push up a bit of infantry against the cavalry. Push up my rest of my right flank forward there. See, yeah, that regiment of line infantry is holding quite well. It's already doing a lot of damage to their cavalry. Fire will on, fire a volley. My attack ground quick climb is it's a real risk, but I'm not I'm, I'm getting very bloodthirsty. They really want to go after that unit in particular. Pick <laughs> you guys up on the hill. There you go, so that regiment of foot's collapsed, but then there's another lovely regiment here that's in great shape. Aha! Hello, General. Push you up on the right flank. Run my lances back. You need to be in skirmish mode and skirmish the second band Janissaries. Chaps. We can close that close off this gap. You guys come around the left. Yeah, howitzers are out of range. Just get both of my light artillery units to go after the sec bands at range. Yep, yeah, the Mameluke guards are down, the Mamelukes are soon to be down, the Janissaries are gonna be down. He decided to return. See, the skirmish mode on, but it just goes to... Oh no, they're going to skirmish us with pistols. Get my lances in there. They're shaken. Got a bit of a auxiliary push in the centre. Got some Muslim. Two units of Muslim. There we go. 
retarget. The second Ben Janissary is a crash of um, being crushed on the right. You guys can engage the Royal Mamelu Guards. But obviously, our left flank is now free to advance. I don't care if they get charged. Muslim in the center have charged, but they've broken this unit of Muslim here. Two are also going to be in not the best position. This is a unit of Arnav, Arnav, the Albanian warband. Uh, still attack grounding, that's not quite what we're after. I might switch all my howitzers to round shot, halt targets, fire at will. Although you, whoever's the shortest range, will go for troops engaged in the combat there. So let's begin to push up our battle line towards where the enemy are coming in from. Yeah, still Louisiana infantry. Pull my lances back. Don't want them getting picked off easily by Semini at range. These two units drop into square because we've got a unit of Mountain Nizam chasing us or attempting to chase us down. There's another unit of Sapahi charging in. Yeah, drop you guys into square, same with you. Everyone drop into square. As soon as you're in square, they really are knackered. So in my howitzers themselves, let's begin to pick. Mm, again, you're not as useful. Okay, let's maybe limber up some howitzers. Let's get my horse artillery just engaging someone in the distance. I can't really push up. Okay, now I can. on my left flank. No, you get back into square. You as well. Sapahi should go down quite nicely here. Might bring my lance back across. I've really not used them very well. Let's bring my general up. Yeah, they should go down quite nicely trying to engage that square. swing my left flank in. This regiment of foot is going to pour fire into the unit of Muslim. Shrapnel fire A. Push up the flank even more aggressively. There go the Semini. They're going to route almost immediately so my light infantry can focus on attacking. I mean, yeah, this artillery is never going to get into useful range. You men form up. You men get out of square and form up. Again, you can see the vulnerability of the enemy troops because they simply just can't stand up to our firepower. That's why I tend to run my infantry into very dangerous spots <laughs> because normally, or ordinarily, they are. You know, like this infantry is very capable infantry. Yep, and no more reinforcements are entering the field. Total collapse. You men are engaging the artillery. <laughs> Let's take our artillery. Cease fire. Charge our lancers in. Charge our cavalry in. There are spikes. You men... Charge down some rifles. We're not going to do a huge amount of damage, but we're not going to do, not going to do very much damage at all here. Chase down the gunners. There we go. So again, because we have so many troops, we can afford just to make this army that's intercepted hold back while the rest of the fresh units advance. It's not as if we are running out. Oh no, the Ottoman navy! What are they going to do? They're going to raid us. 
Fools. Blind fools. Yep, yeah, they're still pushing up. Oh, they're going to try and cash us out by pushing the flank. Yeah, you're limited by what you can do. They might make a, a run for Kiev. Ooh, here we go. We have to fight it, because otherwise we will deplete all these other armies. So Bastion Perot to the south is going to intercept this force. This is the force that came... No, this isn't the force that came in to reinforce them, because they did, they've got much more artillery in Wallachia and Boyar, but they are also incredibly depleted. So let us attack and destroy yet another Ottoman force. Yeah, this has been a good campaign. It's... I'm... So my plan is to not directly replace uh, Louisiana with a new campaign. I will get round to doing a Louisiana, not necessarily a faction guide, because lots of those things get into, you know, specific buildings, and it's just going to generally be a tips, overall strategy, problems, things to be aware of. Sort of like a quick start guide, if you like. Something you'd watch to play the faction yourself and have a bit of, a, a bit of, a f a bit of fun with it. Because sometimes faction guides, I think, can be a bit silly. Well, not silly. It's just I'd like a, I like a guide that goes into enough detail for me to kind of have something to go on to start with. I don't necessarily need it to go into extreme detail about every faction, well, every like town and every in amount of piece of income and stuff like that. That's that's just my preference. I'm looking forward to making it and seeing what you guys think about how I how I envisage faction guys to be. So let's just push up my line. We've got buckets of cavalry. Oh, the artillery is opening up. I'm not even going to switch to canister to quick line because it's just completely unnecessary. Let my artillery do its thing. Although I might make some of my howitzers focus on cavalry units. Because their infantry, well their, their artillery firstly is firing shrapnel shot, which can't actually hit us because the, the uh, terrain is not good for that kind of artillery shot. They're ch well, well, they're charging, but will they charge or will they just skirmish us? Looks like they are going to charge. I mean, that is not going to go... I mean, they might get a couple of kills doing that, but they're not going to prevent the advance of our armies... Charge the Azar with you men. Get these men out of square. Get you men to form line. Put your back up against the combat itself. So who's all the way at the back? Mamelukes. Bring in the cavalry. No, let the Curiosier go after the Mamelukes. Unsurprisingly, the skirmish troops did not put up a fight. Yeah, these Azar are going to go down fairly quick. There we go. Charge the infantry to surround the Janissaries. Slam the cavalry into people in the rear. We're gonna, these guys are okay to skirmish because we've got a really nice line. Engaging them, the terrain's a bit terrible for them, but that's okay. While they're doing that, we're sweeping up the rest of their formation. So this unit of Janistries that's trapped. They're going to die hard. There they go. Artillery is doing a couple of doing a bit of damage to my own guys. You men charge the Pandor. 
Pandora, Pandora, just get out of the way. Let's try and knock out as many units as we can. Actually, you might go over there to try to head off that unit of irregulars. Take out the Janissaries, you men push on to you. There's one last hand water, got him. General's bodyguard should knock out that last. Pandor, Pandor, Pandora. Yeah, there he goes. So let's put speed up time a little bit. You're going after. Unit of Muslim, they're going to escape, so don't worry. You men both go after that last unit of Irregulars, then go after that unit of Semini. God, this army has been slaughtered. Poor devils. Once the core of a great battle force that enslaved a large part of the world is now getting torn up by our brave Louisianan boys. So how many are left? 27. Well, hopefully not very. Won't take very long. Down to 7 already. Good. Good, 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 good. One last Semini, and he is destroyed. <laughs> Yep, you've been pushed back. You devils. So let's, I need to have a look at how many troops are actually stationed around Istanbul itself. Some of these troops might over, made over west. Oh no. Yeah, this army don't care. Do what you like. Um, Kiev is a bit more of a problem. you can't get there super easy I mean I might auto these fights these fights I don't run these fights are irrelevant all I'm doing is just stopping them from fighting and taking Kiev itself yeah like that's just a completely knackered force so don't worry about them all of these these armies were all surplus to requirements. Sir, on some level, some level, the only thing that matters is all oh, what's going on down here. So we've got two armies here at Istanbul. Obviously, we've got an army here that's able to cross, but they're not a, the best army for an assault. Lord? Child the Castor, I think, is going to be making an assault. Urbain Larue, Charlotte de Belbe. You're in good condition as well. But we're going to want to take a force here under Lawrence to Constantine. Drive west. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Nope. Okay, right. Now you're going to attack Monsieur Fouad. Oh, okay. We're not drawing in the large army. So we're going to auto that. Then we're going to take... Well, first of all, you're going to sit there so he can't cross over. You're going to march up towards that guy. You're going to march over here. Just spill all of these guys into this front then have one guy sit on the crossing. There we go. That's got them boxed in. They can't flee. So let's take Geno Mirabeau forward to hit this concentration of troops in the farmland. Again, they're fairly depleted. They've got a large number of actual units, but the actual the strength they have to bring to bear against us is minimal. We have more than enough troops to destroy the remnants of their empire. <laughs> right, so let's take 
Let's just form up a bit of a gun line just to see. Just to see how the lay of the land will look. Drop my howitzers. Okay, so I've got four units, but because I don't actually have much in the way of foot artillery, I can afford to fill out my flanks a bit more around the gun. Then we can use that as a strong basis to advance. Light and heavy cavalry on each flank, heavy cavalry plus my general on the right. So my howitzers, I mean, yeah, not much danger there. So push this flank up hard to slam into their flank. And my fusiliers, just because they can, place stakes. Might even bring straighten these guys out a bit. There we go. The cavalry is fine if they charge us. Uh oh, might have to see some friendly fire. Yeah, pity we're getting sound issues. But at the very least, hopefully we get them out of the way now. We won't have them when we attack Istanbul. That's a massive line of stakes. So if they do make it to us, then safe to say those Wallachian boyar will not last very long. Mamelukes, more Mamelukes. Okay, so sometimes... Did that work? No. I took uh, comfort from the sound coming back. There we go. Yeah, that seemed to have worked that time. Oh, that's another general's bodyguard, not a heavy cavalry unit. Whoops. Go on, the mercenaries. Attack the Mamelukes. Everyone else. Advance up the flank. Oh, there's a Sipahi. Okay, form square. The, the general's bodyguard that's not a general's bodyguard. Can push up. You men attack the infantry line on the right flank. I'll smother them with quick climb. Let's run our cavalry down to help over here. Because that's probably where it's going to be needed. This general's bodyguard unit is not going to do too well against the Sipahi, but at least they're supported by can by um supported by fusiliers with spikes and infantry that's in square so keep rolling up the flank have you got someone in combat or are you re someone reloading yeah it's one guy shooting of muslim oh they're attempting to charge us but i suspect they will suffer from a bit of attrition before they get to us let's switch our how it's just a round shot Keep them bombarding the centre. There we go. General's bodyguard is going to slam into the Muslim unit that tried to charge them, sending them flying back. And my actual general and his second in command, if so to speak, are now in the action. Skirmish cavalry is engaging, which isn't quite what we want. You men both engage the Semini. There we go. You men chase down the Semini. You guys all cease fire. Chasseur Cheval. Bring them in. Bring the horse guard in. And let's speed up time because the only unit left is the General's bodyguard. So I can bring my cavalry advantage to bear. 
We've got one unit of riflemen sat at the back. So you men charge the rifles just because they're the immediate target for you guys. Rifles are down. Okay, you men smash into the arm of the warband. Because the general's bodyguard's back here as well. Yeah, I don't mind speeding up through this because it's just... Look. Keep going. Lots of skirmishes, lots of irregular troops. May as well just speed up or increase the uh, increase the the rate at which time passes and allow this us to continue the episode because really charging cavalry through um, skirmish isn't isn't exactly the most tactically brilliant move. Well, it is the well, when I say the most tactically brilliant move, I mean it's you're never going to win any plaudits in the annals of history by saying take a big guy on a horse covered in armor and run him into that little boy over there with a jacket. You know, it's not exactly... I mean, I, I, I frame that terribly. I've been up quite early this morning. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... You guys don't, aren't really that interested in seeing me charge cavalry through skirmishes. I don't think what you actually want yes. to see is a fight against a proper army, which is it's what I'm going to do in a nod to the uh, capability of this faction is I will attack their army outside and engage them in a large pitched battle against all of their troops rather than attacking the city and sneaking past them. So Charles de Castor, who will Sir. take the honour of these lot. I mean, yes. it's got to be. Well, no, that's Theodore's army. That's the legacy army that was led by Theodore. I'm pretty darn sure it is. No, it's not. It's someone else. Sir, your orders? Theodore Garnier. Would, I'd like to also like to have him to have the, the honour of capturing the final city, but I think I must stick with what I have. Send her Bain LaRue. Can't do that, General. Yes, you can. We can't do that, sir. Why can you not attack that guy? You can attack the city, but you can't attack him. Can you attack that guy? Can't do it, sir. Hmm. Make ready. Again, that's the city as well. Yes, my lord. Can't attack him there by holding over. If I go too low, it hits the city. Very well. Looks my like lord. it might be a city fight. At the ready. Not the same. Prepare not the ideal result, but nevertheless, we shall bring Istanbul down to its foundations and destroy the Ottoman Empire. So it's going to be a fairly normal routine. Blow our way in. I don't mind if this gets really bloody, because um, we've got plenty of troops to throw at it. And I think that will be quite fun, rather than... So, no quick climb. <laughs> no quick climb in this action. Get in there. Smash your way in. I think that would be quite a good way to do it. Because quick climbing it would be a bit, a bit too easy, and it wouldn't be quite as fun to end the campaign on a... Sneaky battle or a sneaky city attack. To be honest, it's a hell of a lot of troops. So, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to attack the way I normally do. I'm going to build two assault brigades. One on either flank. I'm going to bring three infantry units into the centre. I want to try and make three breaches. Two men blow a hole in there. You men blow a hole in there. You men blow a hole in the corner. I could do some really good cavalry killing here <laughs> with quick line shot. See it, forty-four percent already on this section. There you go. Unit, a bunch of uh, selection of four units that can take this section of the wall. A number, another four 
regiments that can take this section of the wall and three units that can advance and cover any gaps in the city's defences. I think these guys aren't shooting at what I want them to shoot at. I don't think they're shooting at the wall, they're shooting at the the unit that was on top of the wall. These are 24 pounder hearts, no, 32 pounder heavy horse artillery compared to 12 pounder foot. That's why they're doing such a fantastic job taking out this section. Are they attacking the middle? No. Attack the wall, please. Because that this ba these batteries have fired off some shots and they haven't received any damage. There we go. That section of the wall is down. I mean, they might bombard the centre, but I'm not going to bombard it with quick climb. Let's begin to advance our troops up to cover the sections of the wall. Let's push up our Assault companies, they don't have to run. Ooh, lots of routing troops. Well, wavering troops. But no, I think uh, that's, a, that's a bit silly. Let's make sure we make our breaches first. Especially as these are proper heavy guns. We don't really want to waste them. Put them to work, knocking down... Whoa, okay, wait, where are you going? Form square! Bring in the light cavalry. You men all... Go on, Coeur de Bois. Fire a volley. Make ready. So I dropped all these guys in the square. They'll be safe. Take section of the wall. Let's be just begin to attack, actually. Let's take these batteries and get them engaging the troops in the centre. Deploy these men to start climbing the walls. You scale the walls above the gates. So you've got a bunch of cavalry or enemy units that are routing. It's curious to see where the enemy reinforcements will come in. Oh, good shot. Let's take some sections of the wall. Hopefully my if my Coeur de Bois can get up there. Well, first of all, I need to spin you guys around to be a bit more of a blocker, which means you're probably not going to be in the best position to engage those Bashi Bazooks. Certainly not in the best position. Clone your lights, charge in. You men, charge the Bashi Bazooks. There are many Bashi Bazooks. Then we can bring our Coeur de Bois around again. Kill the enemy general. It's another oh, it's general's bodyguard unit charged out from this flank. Oh, he's tried a bit of a pincer movement. He charged the square. Those Bashi Bazooks are going down. Enemy reinforcements are coming in. Yeah, coming in from over here. Dodgy, very dodgy. You men, climb the walls quickly. So let's take you, get you out of square. 
bring two infantry units over here to help support that flank. You do not need to fire into this combat here to beat this unit of Bashi Bazooks. Get a unit of grenadiers. No, not grenadiers. Get a unit of line infantry to start to scale the wall. These two units can cover the breach. Coeur de Bois. Get up there. Oh, you're just going to run in, huh? So I need to give them another move order to try and see if I can get more men up, up off of the, the wall. Yeah, you guys all continue to move as planned. Advance these two units around the flank a bit, push my cavalry up, because they can't kill too many of my guys here. Those grenadiers, however, might be in trouble. Don't worry about fighting that Nizam, just get up on the wall. I should really throw my cavalry into the mix to try and defend this unit of grenadiers, because they are not going to be happy bunnies. First Grenadier Regiment. Do I just throw them into it? No, I'll throw, let's throw the 13th in first. Skirmishers get up above the gatehouse. Now these two units can charge down into the fortress. New men hit the Wallachian Boyar. Okay, the Grandes have turned it around. Counter charge. New men attack the Wallachian Boyar. Ah. Sapahi charge, that's not great. Bring this infantry down off the wall. New men are gonna solemnly what no solemnly do nothing. There's a an open door here. You should have formed square, but I guess you broke they broke the square. Nevertheless. The grenadiers are going down. New men advance off of the gate down into the center. At least those guys are form square. You men pin those infantrymen there. Let's throw the first grenadier regiment in as well. Let's bring you guys in to slam into the rear of the 18th. So these grenadiers have driven a wedge into the city. So let's throw the So this is a grenadier guard unit. This is the first regiment of grenadiers. They finally broke. You men engage the Feline Musketeers. You men advance towards the square. You men attack the Mamelukes here. Let's try run you guys through the gates. No, stay in square. To be honest, all this artillery, go. You are now surplus to requirements. New men, once you've entered, you can charge the seventh order. Maintain the offensive. Push up a bit more. Realistically, those units attempting to uh, intercept us aren't going to do 
It's not going to do too much to us. I mean, it's unfortunate that this gate is deciding not to close because there's Mamelukes in the way, but whatever. New men engage the Wallachian Boyar. Could drive you in here, I suppose. Cour de Bois engage that unit of Nizza. If this unit can break through the Feline Musketeers, they'll charge up to give them some support. General's bodyguard hit the Sipahi, otherwise they're going to mow down a lot of our guns. Which, while not critical, I'd rather they didn't do. Enemy general is dead. You men drop into square right in front of the gate. You men charge over here to the rear of the gate as well. You men just hunker down to protect that flank. This regiment of foot is clearing out the centre, which they will storm up and attack. This regiment of foot is going to hold the position. Colonial Light charges the Zimindari horsemen. So we lost the gate, but that doesn't look like it's going to matter. Charge the Nizam. Charge a caster. No, not interested in you. You man, charge the artillery, charge the gunner, who has no gun. Jab. We hold the centre. Artillery, flee. Form ranks and engage that unit of Israeli. There you go, you charge that altar. Yeah, these guys aren't going to be able to come in to help. 115th Regiment of East India Company Infantry, run! All supporting troops that can be thrown into the breach must proceed with extreme aggression. The 14th Light Horse are engaging the horsemen. Again, I don't think they're going to be too long for this world. Fellain Musketeers are going down. Troops everywhere are going down. Push on. How fitting it is, though, that Theodore's army is going to be the one to take the final territory in the game. Because even though Theodore himself is not no longer with us, and he could have been, The end result is a great Louisiana victory, which could not have been won without some stout leadership and the, caf the, the brave fighting capabilities of the Louisiana soldier. There you go, the Grenadiers and the Grenadier Guards can charge into the unit of Israeli here. You men cease fire and hold the square. Because, yeah, they can't really get in from this side, so it takes them a long time to get here, whereas we are running up fresh colonial troops. And Maison de Roi. But there we are. Heroic victory for the Louisiana Empire and the end of the Ottomans. Huzzah. So that is the end of the Ottoman campaign. So let's just... I don't know why I'm rebuilding this. <laughs> Got old Urbain LaRue with his force that we've had from the start of the game. So let's have a look at our financials. So we're earning 221,000 per turn. Could probably be dialed up. Again, it's only in America I drove down the taxes. Once I started pushing, I needed the economy. But let's say I tax the, the bejesus out of everyone. I mean, obviously, we wouldn't hold we wouldn't hold the territories then, but I'm trying to see what the number looks like. Yeah, they're up to five hundred thirty-five thousand a turn, which is just obscene. That's a ridiculous amount of money. No, oh, head of government, <laughs> diplomatic relations are going down, but it doesn't matter because we don't have any diplomatic relations with people. We are the only faction in the game, and we still count as minor. 
<laughs> but yes, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you next time in the remainder of my campaigns. So like I, I discussed, I've discussed it before and I've kind of put it out on the discussion channels or well, the discussion section of my channel. Um, I'm not going to be replacing this campaign with one directly because the general consensus was that four active campaigns was too many to follow at once. So I'm going to go down to three. Then once we've finished the... Um, then when I finish one of my other campaigns, which is probably going to be the Italian states, because once I crush Italy, no, no not Italy, <laughs> the Italian states crushing Italy, once I crush the Mughal Empire, then it's only going to be mopping up pirates and stuff in the Americas, which will be very quick. Um, so it won't be long, and then it'll be, I will put out a faction vote about a minor nation in Napoleon Total War playing the Napoleon Total War 3 mod. Um, which I haven't got a huge amount of experience in, so I could be pretty pants at it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in some future videos. See you, everyone. <laughs>